Good morning, everyone out there. We have a bright, lovely, sunshiny practice to get to, much like it is outside right now, not even 7 a.m. It's awesome. So, a couple blocks, maybe a strap, and maybe a little extra padding for your knee would be good today. Definitely a couple blocks for those of us that are not particularly flexible to the back side of the body. And let's get to it. To the mat. Why did this just dim on me? Maybe that's just a letter. Oh, goodness. All right, starting seated. Okay. Nice and comfortable. And let's just start. Inhale the arms up. And on the exhale, press the palms back down. my best with the light, but I might get a little bright spot here and there. That's okay. One more. Now let's bring our right ear towards our right shoulder. Keep the spine upright and long. Don't let yourself collapse to the side. Press down and away with the left hand if it's comfortable. Bring it back to center, and then left ear to the left shoulder, down and away with the right. And back to center. Then we're going to take inhale, bring the right arm up, turning the chest up towards the ceiling slightly. Exhale back to center and over to the other side. Moving gently and steadily with the breath, rooting down through our sit bones as we come to each side so that our it doesn't come with us. Keep it down. Notice the difference in the stretch and the activation that we get. Let's go one more time to each side. Now we're going to bring that right hand around behind us at the base of the spine. Inhale, the left one up nice and tall and long. And on the exhale, twist. To our right. Mm 
And return to center. Bring the left hand behind. Inhale the right one up. And exhale into the twist. And exhale, back to center. I'm just going to shift perspectives here. We're going to take, walk our hands behind us. Fingertips pointing straight back. Spread nice and wide. Rooting down to the sit bones so we don't want to lift up. Keeping the knees down. Pel pelvis press forward a little bit. Inhale. Draw all the shoulder blades down and back as we lift the chest. Root down through the pelvis so we're not crunching back on our vertebral discs. Nice, gentle, front body opening. Exhale, come up and gently let ourselves round forward. Support with the hands as necessary. Bring it back up, switch your shins, walk the hands back again, draw the shoulder blades down and back, and again, give the chest a little lift, a little opening. We'll take it forward once again. Bring it back up and place your feet flat. Knees together, all nice and tall. And take that nicely aligned spine and begin to gently hinge back until we feel some activation in our midsection. And let's just bring the arms forward. Inhale, the right one open, and exhale. Bring it back to center and down the left. If it's too much to bring your arms out to the side, just keep them forward. Just keep them right straight forward. One more time at each side. And 
Bring it back up. And now we're going to take it to all fours. Knees under the hips, hip width apart. Hands under the shoulders, shoulder width apart. Let's do a little cat cow. Polish off our spinal warm ups. Belly to the inhale, belly drops down, pulling the chest between the arms. And exhaling, thrusting everything back up. With the breath, nice and steady. Let's get one more reach. And bring it back to our nice level tabletop. Lift the toes under. And then let's just give the knees a little lift. And bring them back down, press the hips back slightly, don't let the tailbone tuck, maintain that tabletop nice alignment between the pelvis and spine, just press back to just before that point. Bring it back up, let's lift the knees again. Bring them back down. One more hip press. See if that line's going to properly move across before as we go along. And we'll bring it back up. We're going to slide the right foot back as we extend the knee, engage the quadriceps. And then, if it feels appropriate for us, we're going to give it a little lift. Remember, we don't want to collapse into that left hip. We don't want to put all our weight to that side. We want our core on the right side to comp I don't want to say compensate, but to make up for the fact that that knee is no longer there. So now those core muscles are firing to keep us level so we don't collapse into that left hip. We can take it a little bit further now and lengthen through the left hand. Bring them both down. Reset and slide the left foot back, engage the quadriceps, that knee straightens. Already you should start to feel that change in core activation. And we'll pick it up a little notch if it's right for you. Give that left leg a little lift. And then lengthen through the right hand if it feels appropriate. And 
And bring it back down. And we're going to take, lift the knees, start to press back towards down dog, but let your torso and thighs connect, bring them close together. Give them a little extra stretch through that spine, low back. And press down through the heels. And let's take an inhale, bring the thighs and torso together. And straighten. On an exhale, let's shift to plank. And then exhale, pressing back. So we're going to move with the breath, inhaling in the pose. And on the exhale, transitioning. Trying to get maybe a little more out of your down dog each time you're there. And then this time, after our inhale, we're going to exhale, lower down, all the way down to the floor. Hands outside the shoulders, elbows pinned to the side, straight back. And inhale, lift just the chest, baby cobra. Release back down, lift the feet under, and then we'll press right back up to our plank. And then right back to our down dog. And then we'll bend the left knee, press that right heel. Then the right, press the left. Then the left, press the right again. And then one more time with the left. Press both. Shift back to plank. Inhale. On the exhale, down to our chaturanga. Inhale to up dog. And on an exhale, moving back to down dog. Inhale the right leg up. Exhale back down. And the left one. And 
Man, back down. Look up. Walk the feet to the hands. Two forward fold. You can kind of bend and straighten the knees here. Yeah, if you'd like. And then we're going to roll up nice and gently, one vertebrae at a time. All right. If you have a block, you're going to grab it. We're going to place it between the thighs, above the knees. Give it a good little squeeze. We're going to continue getting ourselves nice and warm. Inhaling the arms up. And then on the exhale, sitting the hips back to chair. Moving with the breath at your own perfect pace. Three more. Neck up. And on the exhale, nice hinge all the way down to our forward fold. Nice hinge, back up on an inhale. And set that aside. Do a little balance series, our chair to tree pose. So we will hold each pose with the inhale and transition to the next one on the exhale. So first, let's bring those arms up. Exhale to chair. Inhale here. On the exhale, coming up, taking tree. Inhale. Exhale to Tadasana. Inhaling here. Exhale back to chair. Inhale. Exhale, move into tree on the other side. Inhale here. 
exhale back to our mountain pose and we're just going to keep repeating that cycle If you keep your breathing nice and deep and steady, this will be a nice, even, attainable series to do. We'll get one more time on each side. And finish in our mountain pose. Now, if you have stayed at the front of your mat, transition to nicely and tall. We're going to do next, we're going to do five rounds of sun salutation A. I will guide you through the first one, and then after that, you will complete the next four, just moving with the breath. Moving with the breath. All right, let's inhale the arms up. Exhale. Dive down to forward fold. Inhale to flat back. Exhale, releasing down to plank. Inhale here. Exhale to chaturanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Look up on the inhale, on the exhale, block, step or jump, your feet to your knees to forward fold, inhale, flat back, exhale, release, and on the inhale, reverse dive back up, and exhale, Ooh, arm to the side, so that's one, four more, with the breath.
Two more. And last round right here. Let's shake out. Okay, next series, I'm going to I'm going to stay facing the front of the mat. It'll just be easier in the long run. All right, we're going to start with an inhale here. And on the exhale, we're going to bring our right arm under the left and left leg over the right as we sit into eagle. Press the palms together and arms up. And we're going to use our midsection, pull everything together. And go up. And step the left foot back into a lunge as we continue to press those palms together and arms up. Release the eagle arms, enhance the chest. Inhale here. And on the exhale, take it to our revolved lunge. And then release down to runner's pose. This is where we should have gotten our blocks ready for the next thing. And hands on the blocks. We're going to start to straighten that right leg and lift the left one. 
taking care not to collapse into that right hip. And then exhale, pull that left knee into the chest. Inhale, back out. Two more times. Hold it again, lengthen, flatten that back out as best we can. Bring that left foot down. And raise it right back up to standing. Feel the energy release on that right side. And we're going to do the left side. Take an inhale. This time, left under the right, right over the left. Bring those palms, press them together. Press those arms up. Nice shoulder stretch. And then if it's comfortable, elbows to gut. And you can cross your foot down if you need to. It's out. Just get to it. And then back up. Step the right foot back into our lunge. Inhale, pressing up. Release, and it's heart center, inhale, and exhale to our twist. Down to runner's pose. Then hands on the blocks. Start to lift, essentially to a supported split or supported warrior three. Focusing on our spinal alignment, our hip engagement. And then exhale, pull them into the chest. Inhale, press it back. Two more times. And holding, lengthening. Bring it back down. And hinge it back up. Let's do this one one more time. Plus, why do it once if you can do it twice? Touch my eye. Now we know we got our blocks in position. Totally ready this time. Here we begin. Left arm under. Left leg over. And exhaling, pulling it in. Up. 
left leg back to my lunge. Inhaling, pressing and lifting. Exhale, release into the heart center. Inhale here. And exhale into a twist. Bring it down to runner's pose. Find some length here. Good time to get that hip really engaged and ready. And then let us lift. And we'll do our knee pulls. Exhaling in. And holding. And bring that foot down. Flatten out the back. And a nice hinge back up. Lovely. The other side. This time, right arm under, right leg over. And pull it all in. Lifting back up, find your center here, and then we send that right foot back, and lunge, lifting, pressing, inhaling. Exhale, release. Use the heart center. And then into our twist. Moving to our runner's pose, finding some length here. And then let's lift. Do our knee pulls. Hold it out there on the last one. Maintain that line as best you can. We're almost there.
And bring that foot down. Nice flat back position here. I'll enjoy this for a few moments. And we'll get right back up. All right, now let's take it to the floor. Hands on the outside of the hips, legs out straight, inner thighs, if you have to, take your hands and roll them in, roll them inward, toes up towards the ceiling, lengthening that spine here, pressing down, big stretch through the chest, shoulders, upper arms, Inhale, bring the arms up, and on the exhale, right back down to the side, maintain that length you just earned, one more time. We're going to take that right hand, place it behind us, left hand, comes on the outside of the right knee, up tall, just a gentle twist here. And release back to center, and then we'll move to the other side. Keep those legs engaged. It's easy to let them relax. You kind of forget about it. Nope, keep them going. And exhale back to center. And from here, bring our hands back outside our hips. And exhale, just lift up a little bit. You might round forward. And back down. And again, little lift. Engage those abdominals. And down. One more time. And back down, feet flat. Now for this next one, you can choose to stop at any time along the progression. Do what's right for you. Spinal alignment is, of course, of utmost importance. You will be able to have proper form. So keep that in mind. And we're just going to start with a little lean back. Feel the activation. Lift the feet. If it's appropriate, if that feels right for you. And then we're going to start to lengthen down to our stretch pose. So my shoulder blades are touching, but I'm not resting on the floor. Everything, the front body is activating. So if the entire front body is activating, that means the back body is stretching. Hence our stretch pose. Let's pull it all back up. Rest down a little bit, reset. Let's do it again. And lift nice and gently. Ah, let's roll it all the way back. Ah. Legs up towards the ceiling. Support the hands on the hamstrings. Shoulders down. Chest open. 
Press those heels up. Engage those quadriceps. Holding it here. Kind of point, press the toes a little bit. Move things around. Then we're going to bring the arms up. We're going to do a little dying bug. So we inhale, right arm down, left leg down, and exhale, use our midsection, pull them back up to center. Next inhale, the opposite side. Moving with the breath. Only going as far as you can, maintaining alignment. So we don't want that low back to press down. And we don't want it to arch up. One more time on each side. And then bring the arm down. Arms out in a T. The rest break is over. Bring those legs back up. Spinal alignment again. And we're going to lower that right leg down as low as we can, maintaining alignment. We're going to hold it there. Upper body relax. Breathing deeply and evenly. And bring that leg back up. And now the left one goes down. And bring it back up. Ah, hug those knees into the chest. Probably while I'm waiting for that. And then release the knees. Extend the left one straight out along the floor. We're going to bring the right one into the chest. Head and shoulders stay down. Left knee stays down, which means engaging the quadricep on that left leg. It helps enhance the stretch to the front of the hip. Extend that leg straight up towards the ceiling. Rotate the ankle clockwise. Counterclockwise. Point the toes. Press the heels. Splay the toes if you can do it. Point and press. 
And we're going to take that right leg, drop it over to our left side, support the knee with the hand, opening the chest to the right. Belly button comes in as we're opening. Bend that knee, bring it back into the chest, then over towards your right armpit. Back knee still keeping it down. And release. Right leg out straight. And now we bring the left one in. And press it up to the ceiling, rotate clockwise. Counterclockwise. Point the toes. Press the heels, splay the toes if you can do it. Point. And press. And we'll take that foot, drop it over to our left. Support the knee with the hand, opening our chest to the left. Bend that knee, bring it back in and over towards the left armpit. And release it out to the floor. Bring the arms overhead, interlace the fingers. Nice, big, deep inhale, gathering up all your tension, flex all your muscles, make a face, hold it, hold everything. Exhale, release. Grab it all back. And arms to the sides, shoulder blades turned under. Chin slightly tucked and take Shavasana.
your right. You can turn it over onto your right or left side to the feeble pose. Let's press it back up to seated. Draw your cosmo. Walk nice and tall. Don't mess up. That's okay. Inhale and lengthen. And exhale. Relax and free. Namaste. Here we now go and share your bright and sunny selves with a bright and sunny day. Be enlightened and joyful. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in today, and maybe we'll see some of you Saturday morning at 7.15 a.m. for the YouTube live stream. Yoga class, 75 minutes. Go. Till then, great job today. We'll see you next time, which will be Wednesday. We won't have a Monday session because it's Memorial Day. So go and enjoy the three-day weekend. We'll have lovely weather. Okay. Have a great rest of your day. Until next time.